Hey, Corey. We are so excited to be talking with you because not only are you a Foot Locker alum, but you are having probably the best year of your life right now. And it's a hard year because of the pandemic. But I want to hear a little bit from you about how you're doing. You just ran 421, the fourth fastest mile ever on US in U.S. history. So let's hear how you're doing in the pandemic and how your training's going. Yeah, um, it's it's crazy this year, of course, with training. But I will say that this is my second year living in Colorado and being on a new team. So I think that the combination of being in such a great training environment and then just having this year where we weren't competing that much. And for the first time, I was able to just completely focus on some of my shortcomings as a distance runner really helped me um, have some big improvements once I did race a few times this year. So of course the races were different and they were not nearly as high of stakes as usual. So it felt a little bit even more like practice because I was just out there with my teammates, but I will say back in April and May, I was putting in um, some training that I had never done before. And I'm, I'm just really all things considered a little bit grateful for that going forward. So I just used it as an opportunity to just work on some things that I otherwise would have been in a rush and had to have raced through. So for the first time I could just really focus on training and not as Meb was saying, focus on indoor track and then outdoor track and then what was next. So um, yeah, my, my workouts have just been maybe more of the, the strength based stuff that I was missing out on in years before. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been really great. And I think that when we were talking earlier about burnout, I can't help but think about a few years where I wasn't running PRs and I wasn't really achieving some of my goals that I've had. And I definitely had moments of doubt, but when, when the question of how do you avoid burnout comes out, I can't help but just want to tell high schoolers that you have to really nurture that voice in your head that believes in yourself. So I hope that um, if there's one thing that sort of my high school all the way to professional career, I can, I can sort of, sort of try to share with you all. It's that you have to be your own biggest believer when you talk about burnout and those doubts, it's just every good or bad race is an opportunity to just work on that inner voice that tells you, these are my goals. And I truly do believe I can get there. Um, so definitely that's, that's my big advice when it comes to that. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're wishing you all the best in 2021. Can you talk about making that Olympic team and, and how you're dreaming about that every day? Definitely. I mean, I think that it's one of those things where, of course, that's the goal. But if I were to think about it as much as I want it, then I would think about it all day, every day. <laughs> so I have to just focus on my next run and getting a little bit faster and some of the workouts that are challenging for me. And of course the motivation is to make the Olympic team. But if that were on the forefront of my mind constantly, I'd probably drive myself crazy. Um, so I, I just, right now I'm really going through the process of trying to improve and keep up with some of my really fast teammates and also just trying to figure out when we'll race next so we can test our fitness. So of course, the whole time in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about um, the trials and what that's going to look like. But I would say more than anything, I'm just trying to work on the things that I think have kept me from achieving some of those goals. And um, yeah, just try to get a little bit better every day. So those, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Well, best of luck to you. We're rooting for you.